webcam. So can I just see a show of hands who has used a GD webcam before? Excellent, excellent. This is a uh, this is a uh, this is built into a GeoVision software. So as long as you have GeoVision DDR, you will have access to this program. And what this does is basically offer you uh, a remote software to uh, to remotely view and play back videos that are connected to uh, to the DDR. And all you have to do uh, is uh, get internet connection and uh, find an internet browser. Usually it's Internet Explorer. And just um, type in the IP address and uh, login name and password, and you will be able to access your DVR from anywhere in the world. So if you're approaching a customer who has a couple of stores across the country and is going on vacation, you can tell him that he can use this program to still keep monitoring his stores while he's on vacation. And for some of you who has already used uh, the GE webcam before, on the version 8.2, we have added <laughs> some improvements, as well as the user interface. First, the interface will look like this. And uh, on the right-hand corner, you will see we have added different information. And one of the things that we were asked to add was uh, bandwidth control. So a lot of IT managers, they actually requested for this. So uh, maybe the supervisor who is concerned about his video is hogging up all the bandwidth. But in the new 8.2, you will be able to set the bandwidth on your uh, GD webcam. So you're not using all the bandwidth on, for your, uh, uh, from the company. And you can still do other things like email and things like that. <coughs> And you will also be able to adjust the brightness, the contrast, like before. And by the way, the TV webcam will also be supported with uh, the IP cameras as well. So first, the TV webcam, who is it for? It's for all GeoVision users. And why do they use it? Because it's very convenient, and plus, it is, uh, it's free. And then next, uh, GeoVision also has three other central monitoring solution. The first one is the Center V2, and also, and then the second one is VSM, which stands for Vital Sign Monitor, and then the last one is called Control Center. And who is Center V2 for? It's for security operators. And why do they use it? Uh, because it will help you reduce false alarm and also provide redundancy of video storage, <coughs> which I will talk more in depth later. And the VSM, the Vital Sign Monitor, is usually for IT managers. And what it does is basically it will help you monitor every DVRs that you are connecting to, as far as uh, <coughs> maybe storage, hard drive size, uh, your internet connection, your I.O., if it's connected correctly. So they use it to uh, maintain their DVRs. This is all for remote, so it's not local. And then lastly is the control center. It's usually for security directors. The reason being that so the control center will give you total control of any <coughs> of the DVRs remotely. So first, the center V2. Can I, again, see a show of hands who has used this before? Everyone in GSS has used it before? <laughs> so this is what the interface looks like. Um, you can connect up to 800 channels or 500 DVRs to one computer. This computer doesn't have to be a DVR. All you have to do is just install the software of Center V2 on it. And um, on the top left-hand corner is the light view. But this light view is only, it will only pop <coughs> up when it senses motion or when there's a alarm triggered on the remote end, on the DVR end. And on the bottom is text message. These text messages will show you uh, maybe alert, uh, I'm sorry, uh, alarm trigger or motion detected. And um, on these text message, you can also click on them and then bring up the video of what happened. So when I say it will reduce false alarm, I mean that uh, maybe your security operator is sitting in his, uh, in his control room. <coughs> he can't pay attention to every channel 24 seven. So whenever he sees, uh, text message that's marked in red, it means it's an abnormal event. 
And when he clicks on that normal event, he will be able to see the playback of what happened. So maybe it's just uh, your pets going to uh, trip, accidentally trip the wire. And if you look at the video, then you know that it's not a problem. So you don't have to call the police. Um, and this uh, this software is actually used by uh, by professional uh, <coughs> companies such as uh, Securitas, and also uh, that's the testimonial letter from them. They're using the Center V2 to market about 500 of their users uh, across nationwide. And the next is the United Protection Service. It's also a, a, a large uh, monitoring company that's up in Canada. And if you have used Center V2 before, uh, the new version will support IP cameras and also access IP cameras. And uh, it will uh, support direct video uh, burning and also simultaneous playback of multiple clips. And lastly, you can connect one DVR to two Center V2 for uh, redundancy of uh, videos. So in case maybe your uh, convenience store is being robbed and uh, the robber took the DVR, but on the, cent on the central station, you still have a backup of your videos that you can give, the po give to the police. And the next is the vital sign management or vital sign monitor. Uh, on the right hand corner, you see that's the actual interface. And all those text messages will show you uh, what is wrong with the DVRs. So usually, it's, uh, you, can keep, you can keep track of the, uh, your DVR's hard drive size or hard drive storage. If it's, being, if it's full, then you can tell your local, local employee to change the hard drive or to start recycling. And this use a lot of uh, very minimal bandwidth because all you're getting is just text <coughs> message, so you can install it anywhere. And um, actually, one of our customers is a, is a hotel chain, and they have one central location that's up in uh, that's down in Florida, where all the IT people are. And they install this program on their uh, at their headquarters, and basically the IT people will tell uh, their their. Uh, hotels across the nation when they have to do something with, uh, with the DVR, such as a recycle of all storage data and things like that. And then lastly is the control center. Uh, this is the most powerful remote software that GeoVision offers, and it basically consists of four things. Uh, the digital matrix, uh, remote control, <laughs> remote playback, and also remote I.O. And just to uh, add this, uh, one, add one thing, uh, you can run Control Center on four different screens. So you have to get one of those um, uh, graphic cards that supports uh, four screens. So the digital matrix. Uh, like I said, the control center can, can be supported on four different screens, and each screen we can call it a matrix. And each matrix is a, will be able to give you about 94 uh, live channels. So this will be able to help you reduce or uh, replace an analog matrix. And with four matrix, it will give you 384 live channels, all on one machine. And this control center, again, doesn't have to be a DVR. All you have to do is install the software on a separate computer. And this is um, actually a case that we did for a casino. Um, they used the control center, uh, digital matrix, along with the EMAP. So whenever they see an event, the operator can quickly find out where this uh, event is taking place on a physical map. So they can very quickly find out where, what's going on and very quickly respond to that abnormal event. And the security director of the casino actually installed this at his house. So he has, he can work 24-7, I don't know. <laughs> but he has total control of his casinos and there's nothing uh, left out. Remote control, uh, going back to the slide, or let me see. Remote control is, um, it will allow you to play back videos from any of the DVRs that is con connected to your center or your control center. 
So for taking, going back to this example, the security director, there's someone at the casino is asking